uh, welcome to Rabon Does E3, a Microsoft uh, conference. So yeah. stick around. Episode E3. Episode E3. Cool. Interesting. Uh, Microsoft. Right. Mm, okay. This was the first one that we watched. The very first one that we watched. Because uh, the Sony one was on at Stupid Copy Morning for UK. So We didn't necessarily watch them in order. Uh, it seems like a lot of podcasts or streams are paid or persuaded to say something. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of bullshit going on. And even if they're not paid, they sort of feel scared to have a real opinion. Yeah. Well, I don't understand why people aren't jumping twatting Nintendo for being ridiculous they all seem to be saying yeah it wasn't brilliant but uh, and it's just positive all the time positive positive so we're going to be negative we're going to be negative but constructively negative hopefully yes. Yes. unless the game is absolutely shit and then it's just like uh, sorry, uh, we're just going to talk how we talk yeah we don't get any money we don't give a fuck and it's like <laughs> we're in his living room because that's where we are right now yeah we're all so, having a chat come on would you join me um okay Okay, let's start. In off. no particular order. In no particular order. As usual. Um Microsoft. Good Go. conference. Yeah. I'd yeah. say on par with Sony. I think they're both yeah. equal. Yeah, they're, 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 they were both good in different ways. Which means I can't divide them. Yeah, That's and the there's thing. no think, clear winner for me. I think it's the first E3 that I've watched where I, there isn't a clear winner. Yeah. In between those two, I think. Yeah, there's obvious losers. There is fucking definitely obviously. Nintendo, Square, what the fuck? <laughs> um, but uh, but yeah, these two were, were really good. I, I I think it's it's one of those few times with E three, especially um, and having a new console out there, where I don't think there is a bad time to have. No, sorry, carry on. Just any the of the um, any of the new generation consoles. Yeah. The, this E3 is actually basically, I don't know whether Sony and Microsoft, uh, Microsoft have added a word and gone, let's not shit on each other. And they've gone, yeah, all right, it's sorted. Yeah. Right, wh where are you going? We're going down this way. Right, well, we'll go other way then, and then that way. That's what's happening. And I think it is. I mean, Sony did really, really well with theirs. Like I say, I think it started off on a fucking huge high and then slowly petered off to an average. Yeah. Uh, and then so it ended up bol bolstered, bolstered by um, uh, Uncharted, which brought it a little bit up. And yeah. I think Microsoft started on an above average and pretty much stayed there. At a yeah, constant the, thing. ultimately, if you break it all down, they both ended up at the same at the point. Same sort yeah, of point. Yeah. Just different ups and downs. So uh, we'll, we'll get straight um, on to it. Yeah. I was going to say, what was I going to say? What was I going to say, General Warren? What was he saying? It was a very interesting point. That we will never know. We'll come oh, back to if I remember. See, that's a gem that we missed. Uh, I missed that. It was good. It was good. Um, Dice Souls 3. Boom! Boom! <laughs> Do it! Right, well, so Sony had Call of Duty and Microsoft had Dice Souls. Swap it. Swap around. Yeah. Um, right, Dice Souls 3. Uh, you like Dice Souls? Get Dice Souls 3. Next game. What's yeah. your opinion? <laughs> uh, anybody that watches us a little bit knows that we're not. Particularly fond of it. We, well, not we haters. like that it exists. We're not haters on it. Just, we know that it's a good game. Yeah, but it's uh, just not for us. That's all. So yeah. we're not going to talk about it too much. No, because our our opinions yeah. on that particular game are extreme. We're well, valid to us because yeah. we don't really. So we're not going to insult you by pretending that we're not going to turn around and go, "Well, the mechanics are bad, the graphics are bad, the glitches are the bloody time, the online is terrible, the communities are all up their ass." No, no, that's not that. Because we don't really know. We don't know. We're not part of this, so it's not for us. He's on. Okay. Um, See, I'm not a big fan of uh, Call of Duty. Yeah. Um, so I mean, it's it's it, we all pick our own poison, and that's what you like. Kill yourself with it. <laughs> it's poison. <laughs> uh, but no, it's not really. No, <laughs> we'll be on the news tomorrow. <laughs> BBC News. That is one way of getting views, isn't it? Uh, yeah. <laughs> not uh, success. But no, I, I'm not a big fan of the COD games. I don't think they do anything surprisingly. They're, they're solid. It's all good. They're solid been, games. We play them too much, I suppose, and it, for us, it hasn't really changed and. Well, they've changed, but they're going. They, they're evolving to Halo, and I've been playing Halo since Halo. Yeah. So, but we like Halo because we love the story as well. And the like world, the universe, and da, 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 da. don't really care about the Call of Duty story. But mainly because I can't follow it. I'm one guy, and then I'm the other guy, and I can't play online because I get my ass kicked because it just shot and died and I'm dead. Nah. 
They do say that this year will be the death of COD. I think I think I'll be surprised. No. Uh, I think it would have been the death of COD if they released Destiny 2 this year. Because of the amount of people yeah. that play Destiny online, the fact that it's only an expansion pack that's been released as opposed to Destiny 2. I think if they released Destiny 2, it would have had all the TV push, it would have had all the press conference push, and I think it would. But who owns Destiny? Activision. Who owns COD? Activision. Activision win. Activision don't care. Yeah. They're not direct competition, so as much as I agree, there's nothing out there as far as first person shoot 'em ups. Uh, of that kind of military genre that competes with General Warning, uh, with General Warning, uh, with, <laughs> Sex, with, with, yeah. Cod, uh, with COD, with um, COD, because um, like we, just before I came on air I watched an interview with Peter Moore, the guy who is the executive director of EA, and he said a few years ago we were trying to compete with COD and we were trying to compete with this other game, we were trying to compete and we spent a lot of money doing that. But there's no point in us competing with those. They do, they do that. It. Let us do our own thing. Yeah, so, we we own that. so if you're into cod, enjoy cod. They're going to be your favourite flavour of that fish. Um, so anyway, carrying on. We don't like fish. Um, Elite Dangerous, don't know anything about it. Heard the name a lot, but I just... I Elite Dangerous is a... How do you describe it? Game. Yeah, it's, it's a space exploration... Game? Trading? Trading game, that's the one I was going to say. Selling game. Was it, like the, game. What was it, was it called Elite this summer? The original BBC computer game was called Elite. It is, yeah, it is a sequel to I have that. vague memories of that. It's, it's brilliant. I played it in the Rift like when I went to the Play Expo mm -hmm. and you sat there in the ship and you wander around and, and a lot of people who get the Rift on don't move their head. They're like, it's yeah, it's 3D. You're like, no, move your head. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, so used to it. Yeah. Fucking what? And, uh, yeah, I would say yeah. when it went. When he put me, because uh, they had one for a little bit, yeah. and uh, when he shoved me in it, I'm just staring forwards and playing the game. And he's grabbing my head and going, I'll tell you, fucking look down there, but he's shoving me around. This voice me like, that's what you do, you. Heptic. Yeah. That's it, I'm very heptic. But once you get used to that, that's, that's cool. Uh, League Dangerous, I do like the look of. It's basically No Man's Sky, smaller. Uh, but more concentrated on space pirates and uh, oh, exploration. You know, I'm more interested then because um, No Man's is too big for me. Yeah, it's, it's, it's smaller, it's it's gorgeous. There's a lot of people who do playthroughs. Uh, played the last hour, uh, the hour long demo last night. Took me 58 minutes to figure out anything out there. What, what are you talking about? Are you talking about Elite Dangerous? Ooh. What are you talking about Elite Dangerous? Um, uh, because, uh, the, yeah, I like, I like it. I like Elite Dangerous, it's cool. It's good. Um, I think it's it's more because it's not a regular because it's not a console game because it's just not a console game. I just it confuses you. Um, You'd have to tell me how to play yeah. it. I think no, no. It it it'll, it teaches you very early on. I'll Does it batter her with no? Knowledge? You you yes. fly around and you, you you jump to certain systems and certain areas, and you can just fly there and you take your time. And you'll go, I'll collect ore from this rock, mm. and I'll go to this other station and I'll sell that ore, and and then you get to learn that this station wants ammunition, more than wants ore. If you go there with ore, it's going to give you one pence. Yeah, you go to yeah. the other station, they really want ore, yeah, so, so give you shit. Them. Right, and then you can also then get. Really dangerous. Yes, you talk it, um, and then you can you'll get you get pirates flying around space. Uh, space. And then yeah, you general one was struggling there, figuring out what to, what to do. Yeah, but that was the demo. So if the demo hasn't put you through some kind of tutorial mode, yeah, then I don't it, trust demos. Uh, that's the thing. Not anymore. Yeah. But um, but yeah, so you do this kind of stuff, and then you can get. Sorry to interrupt. Yes, a demo made me not buy Bioshock. Yeah, Dang. he said the uh, Elite Dangerous, same as No Man's Sky, looks different, and that's what I needed. Yeah, of course. Um, so I didn't buy Bioshock because I played the demo. Because I just thought, yeah, yeah, whatever. And I picked it up for about six quid or something. Years later, geez, crap, this is one of my all time favorite games. Fuck demos. Mm. They mean nothing. Don't let them put you off again. Just, Just don't. <laughs> yeah, that, that's where I think the renting market needs to get bigger in gaming um, or or they should turn around and do the Steam 
thing where they give you refund for games. Or, which I mentioned episode, Rumble on episode 14, I believe, um, you can get uh, Metro and play three quarters of that game before having to pay for it. That's great. Because it's a good game, <coughs> you know you'll pay for the rest. Yeah, that's really. That's well, no, actually, it's a third of the game, actually. Some yeah, a third of the game. Yeah, Metro 2033. Three quarters might be a bit too much. Uh, <laughs> if you've never played Metro 2033, um, the uh, HD remakes for the Xbox One, because I know you've got an Xbox One, uh, are fucking brilliant. Because you'll start off playing that game and you'll think it's a regular first person shooter. And boy, are you surprised, because uh, I was surprised that you got into it, to be honest. I was glad that you did. Yeah. Uh, but it. It, it sells itself as though it is a first person shooter mode, and it is first person perspective, but it's a beautiful horror game with an absolutely fantastic um, atmosphere about it, mm. and the lore in it, which it doesn't delve massively into, just gives you little sort of tasters of, make you creeped out to fucking certain places, and I, yeah, the Metro games are brilliant. Yeah. Absolutely brilliant. Better than playing demos because they give you a, a snippet of a level which is not necessarily true to the game. Always. They even create demo levels now. Yeah. They which do. they put in the game generally. Yeah, they do. But you know if this is the demo level, or they give you a tutorial bit at the start and it's not always just not always right, or they haven't introduced you to these mechanics in this cool way. So that when they do throw you in at a certain point, you're like, what the fuck's going on? I'm not used to this. If it's not something you're used to, if it was a Call of Duty demo, you'd be like, yeah, brilliant. But if it's some, a new type of game that's slightly different, it can throw you. Yeah. But what I do now is, if I'm interested in the game or if I'm slightly on the fence, I just go on Twitch and watch somebody play it. That's what Twitch And is. I wouldn't say watch it all, don't ruin the game for yourself, but at least watch it until you think, actually, this looks like a good game that I would play. I did exactly the same. And then stop watching it. Exactly what, what Adam's saying there, I did with uh, Wolfenstein. Find a Twitch player or Twitch streamer who plays games. Find one that we can sit there. As well. you, you don't want a super brilliant one. No, no, you want, you want to sit there and find somebody who plays a game similar to how you play a game. So if he ends up just stopping in the middle of combat and starts looking around the room, if that's what you do to try and find stuff, yeah. watch him. It might be boring as fuck, but just watch him because that's how you play the game. Yeah, because I then, everything. Then. Yeah, well, yeah. I, I do. I do the same, you know. So, so I find somebody who, who wanders around the room after he's slaughtered everybody, which makes a very boring stream. Somebody go and click on this box nothing in this box, click on this box, but I can I can then picture myself playing that game and with Wolfenstein I watched somebody play it, unfortunately caught the first person I clicked on was actually playing similar to how I play and I looked at it and I thought I can't be doing that for 12 hours, mm. I can't be, mm. uh, what's this, uh, Twitch is perfect for that, that's, I mean, you know who it is, I was playing LA Cops and you actually schooled me on LA Cops because yeah. I, I watched you play LA Cops and you kicked the fuck out of it. You're so much better at it. I still haven't finished that last level yet. I still, I just haven't. But I watched you play it um, and you kicked ass on it. But yeah, that's where. And you make friends too. That's where me and General Warren. Devils was. don't give you friends. It was a <laughs> Saturday morning, uh, and I think you'd been you'd been up all night and you was waiting to go to work as a re recall. Because uh, I was streaming it and then Twitch and uh, Twitch door ended up joining in. It was about ten o'clock in the morning on a Saturday. I was playing it. Crazy but yeah, that's yeah, where we met. So it's it's crazy, cool. crazy people. Twitch, Twitch is good. Right. So we shall uh, yeah, move on. Move on, yeah. and we shall now be talking about a game. Well, that I love, even though some of them are a bit meh, but there's quality there somewhere. There's, there's a, something that I really like. Walking. Is it? <laughs> what after this? Well, okay. Well, okay. Um, and this game looks fantastic, but it's not the game I want. This is Fable Legends. I don't want this game. It looks beautiful. I want this to be a proper Fable game. It looks gorgeous. It looks like everything I want in a proper Fable game. But it's not a proper Fable game, is it? No. It's a multiplayer online. Right. This is what I've got to say about Fable. Do it. This is what I'm going to say. Fable was the rise and death of Peter Molyneux. Yes. As far as being in certain games groups. It was the rise because he sold us an idea on, on something. It was, it was the best salesman you could ever have in gaming. It was absolutely fantastic. I loved his visions though. His visions were brilliant. And his visions, as much as 
Fable 1 wasn't what um, he had promised us. It's what he wanted, I assume. He wanted better. Yeah. He wanted better. But the fact that he thing. wanted something completely different, we still ended up with Fable 1, which everybody, a lot of people slag off. Well, it's not an RPG. But what an adventure. What yeah, I don't care what time. it is. That game is fucking brilliant, especially the lost chapters. It's not a fighting game no, either. It's great. It's such a great game. And then with Fable 2, he was on board with it. And his his hopes and dreams and his way of selling things, which caught the developers uh, off kilter a lot of the time because they didn't anticipate him going, Well, now we're going to have a dog in the game. They're like, Shit, we need to write a dog, 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 make a dog, make a dog. Make a dog. <laughs> you know, uh, right? And then with Fable 3, where he had to, he had a definite, definite timeline and he had to put the game out, which yeah. he ended up asking for too much out of the developers. Now, with this new Fable, with Peter Molyneux not being on board, because with the Fable Journey, the uh, Kinect game, yeah. he was on board. But he wanted to make something else, mm. and he knew he was had one foot out the door. Uh, they were pushing him. Unfortunately, with Fable, I say unfortunately, but you need Molyneux there. Molyneux, visionary, is, is Fable's daddy, and you need him there. Even if they don't make the game that he ultimately sells you, it doesn't matter. It's still going to be a good game because Fable Three was good. You can tell that it was finished too soon. Yeah. You can tell it was finished too soon, but it was a good game. Fable 2 was a good game. Same sort of thing. Yeah. Yeah. Fable 1 was a fucking brilliant game. Yeah. It was brilliant. As a game, it wasn't an RPG. Get into your head, you're not playing an RPG. You are playing an adventure game. Yes. Not an RPG. And it was beautiful. You had so much lore in there. You had so much... I mean, Fable 2... It, it was It was funny. funny. It, well, it, it felt English. It was one of the very few times when I played a game where it's I played like England. Which is the same, but it just doesn't have the same magic as Fable did with the characters and stuff. No. Yeah. And then it's as close as you're ever going to fucking get. Yeah, it? well, the thing is with Witcher, Witcher to me feels so Europe. It feels medieval Europe. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I, I love that. I love yeah. that. It's really, really good. Um, but Fable felt like England. Yeah. Right? I mean, you, had, you, you, had, you had the sword in the stone. You had all this kind of little... Mythologies of our, our our country entwined into little tiny little stories, and the sword in the stone. You need to be so much strength, and then when you finally do go back there, about 10, 15 hours later of playing the game, and it's not an RPG, it's an adventure. And you're like, now I've decided to be stronger, and you go bang, and you get the sword out of the stone, and it's a shit sword compared to what you've got. But it's fun the fact that you've done. Do you know what I liked about it as well? It was just it was heartwarming. Do you know what I liked about it as well? This. Because it's got a problem with open world games at the minute. Because I think they're just trying to. They're doing that 3D thing, like when it ended up like Nintendo 64 and PlayStation trying to force everything to be 3D because that's the next thing. So it, it meant a lot of things just. just like, this shouldn't be 3D. You no. can't do it yet, just fucking leave it. I feel like now, when we look back on this time, it's going to be everybody is trying to force open world when it isn't always necessary. No, and Fables. Necessary. It's better for me because I felt like I wanted to explore everywhere and get to every nook and cranny because it wasn't six billion miles along and because it was smaller, it was designed, which is my favourite word no. at the moment. Yeah, no, it was. <laughs> no, I, I agree with you. The, the was, the, Everything meant something. There was a narrative in that. Um, Fable 2 was more of your open world, but it wasn't. If you've got... If you decided to just run around without activating a mission, mm. you aren't getting through that many faced door. If you run around and without activating a mission, you aren't getting under that tree. Yeah. You were just running around basically not a dead world, just a sleeping world. Yeah. As soon as you activate a mission. You'll still find stuff. Yeah, you'll still find well, a little bit. Nothing, nothing nothing major. No, no. But Ultimately, if you activate the mission and you go on that mission and you oh, feel like you're on a journey, you feel yeah. like you're writing a fable. Oh yeah. Because they're all stories. They're all each story is a story. That's the point that we were getting at. That's why it was a fable. Each story is a story. And then your entire game is your fable. Yeah. It's not an RPG. But people like to think that just because you level up, they call it RPG aspects. No. 
You just level it up. It's RPG it's, and everything now. Yeah, but they, they call it RPG because it's a role playing game. But are you really role playing? Well, you are always. Every game you play, you're role playing. When you play Halo, you are role playing as Master Chief. Um, when you play Call of Duty, you're role playing as whatever the protagonist is. thing as well. So it's. It's, um. Like. Multiple endings, I think people have gone a bit mental with multiple endings. Like it's got about fifty multiple endings. I don't mind multiple endings when they're done right. Witcher feels to me like it's done right. Because as I was saying to you earlier on, well, your main quest is your main quest, your secondary quest you can give or take. And ultimately mm. ultimately that I feel right now the ending I'm gonna get on Witcher Three is my ending. Yeah, it might be, it might be. Uh, I might have the same ending as you, but it's my ending. I think... I'm cool with that, uh, I'm cool with that. I was sold on it on Walking Dead, and I was sold on it on Mass Effect, even though the third one was a bit of a meh. The last bit was a bit meh. But the, uh, yeah, but everything else, you know, like them ones. Which uh, I'll probably like that as well, mm. when, if, when, I eventually get around to finishing. I'm definitely game. finishing that game thing. before I get I also wish it was smaller, I do. <laughs> I'll enjoy it more. Yeah, um, I think it's a matter of stop it and play something else for a bit. Yeah, that's, that's I really do think it's a matter of that. Because I stopped it the other day and I was playing GTA 5 again and I'm like, yay! Yeah, I played it and then I played The Witcher 3 earlier on before I came around and I'm like, yeah! Uh, I need uh, so, a, like a supplemental game. Yes, you do. You yeah, need something in between, but definitely please finish that game. I'll get, uh, I'll get Yoshi. Yeah, get Yoshi. Because he's so different and cute. That it, yeah. Perfect. Yeah, there you go. Um, yeah, so Fable Legends, <laughs> we haven't talked no. about it because... Well, it's, there's no to talk about. Uh, we get it. Uh, yeah. Oh, oh my God. Oh yeah, I see what we're on about. I loved the reboot of this game. I thought it was brilliant. It was. Uh, in okay. my personal opinion, it shat all over Uncharted. All three of them put together. I've probably played this one, then all three of them. Don't get me wrong. I do like Uncharted. Yeah, it's very good. It's a solid game, um, don't you? Can, yeah. But uh, Tomb Raider looks sexy as fuck. I really enjoyed the other one. And yeah, the other one, one was. Enjoyed this one. Yeah, the other one was really good. I'm more excited about this than I am Uncharted Four. Yeah. Even though I would definitely play Uncharted Four. Uncharted Four. Like that as soon as it comes out. Uncharted Four is a one-time playthrough. Yeah. I played through Tomb Raider reboot two i think three times maybe yeah uh, and they enjoyed every every pass through even though i knew sort of what was coming up i still yeah. enjoyed it uh whereas in the uncharted games once i'd finished them that it's was like done. a movie in it uncharted it's like you just do it and you yeah it's, uh, it's, do it. it's like an above average movie that you don't want to go back and watch again it's like <sighs> oh, well, an above average say, movie a good game yeah you're yeah, very good at yeah, yeah. But, but the thing is it's like it's not so much it's, it's not that movie you want to go instantaneously back and watch. I watched Mad Max, I want to watch it again. I was confused with Mad Max, because I don't know how I should take it. I, I, but it's the only time yeah. my brain's gone, oh, I don't know what's going on. Do, yeah. do I hate it? Do I do all of it? Do I, do I just Are you watching it again? Not yet. No, no, yeah. no I'm going to wait until it's the... Uh, yeah, I'll, bit, we'll yeah. see. And it's the same with uh, Jurassic Park. Well, as soon as I watched that, I wanted to watch it again. Yeah. Instantaneously, I'm like, bang. Whereas in Uncharted games aren't that. Uncharted games are... Um, I'm trying to think of a good movie. Uncharted games are Thor movies. Yeah. Thor movies you watch and you go, yeah, that was good. I enjoyed that. But I've only ever watched the first one twice because I had nothing else to watch. But I, I love, you know I love the Norse mythology and stuff, right? So it's like, yeah. with the Thor movies, I put Thor movie on and I go, yeah, that's good. I watched Dark World once and went, that was good. It was good. I'll recommend it to people to watch. But I'm not in any hurry to play that or watch that again. And I, I think Uncharted sits in that Tomb Raider that world. is almost the opposite of yes. Uncharted for me because it, um, the story is not necessarily the story actually not, not the story the uh, the dialogue between the characters and stuff is is nowhere near as good as Uncharted it's still it's all right it's passable uh, but. You know the back and forth and stuff like that, mm. but the gameplay for me in Uncharted is surpasses. Uh, sorry, yeah. uh, in Tomb Raider yeah. surpasses Uncharted. So they they both got their advantages there. So I suppose I lean more towards uh, the, the game because you're playing Tomb the game. Yeah, but if you if you were watching a film, I think you'd probably prefer Uncharted. Yes, yes, and that's where that's where this cinematic gameplay thing comes comes together mm. because 
Yeah, no worries. Sure. Yeah, I'm smoking. He's having a smoke. That's right? good. I'm glad that you smoke, dude, because I feel really bad sometimes because I watch these back and we're going. I know. Yeah. I but, um, but that's that's the point. It's like we're playing the game. So what is more key? Gameplay or story? This is where it, it's a big, big debate. personal thing, isn't it? It's a, really? It is personal a big preference. personal, personal thing. But with Tomb Raider, I had enough story. I had enough of a character arc with Lara Croft. Yeah. I mean, I sympathise with her. A lot of people psyched it off because, like, oh, she didn't like killing a deer. Next thing you know, she's killing 30, 40. Yeah, that does take me out a little bit. It, a little bit. But I realise it's it a were, game. Actually, it were only after the fact yeah, that yeah. it actually... But I realise it's a game, so yeah, I don't take it. Right? And the game was cool. And they, they've taken that on board, so apparently... That's the... Because I've got to do it. That's why I last was because it made it more real than anything like yes. that. Yes. Oh, fucking yeah. last. So, that's, so that's the thing. If so, Tomb Raider had done was. that, it would have made it from being a game that I really, really like to being a game that imagine, I fucking love. Yeah, exactly. Love. Imagine yeah. the combat system in Last of Us, in the new Tomb Raider game. Mm. Then it's done. Yeah. It's like, right, we don't need to make another game ever. It's like, stop yeah. your console building. We're, we're done. We're done. But, but that's the thing, like I say, we, we Uncharted, Uncharted has got... I mean, I really like the characters in Uncharted. I think they're funny. I love, I love the back and forth. I, 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 yeah, I really, yeah. I really like that. All that yeah. jammering. Uh, I like the fact that I think it was actually Assassin's Creed that first did the interactive with, yeah. with, 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 with people, but Uncharted just mastered that because yeah. you'd walk past stuff and he'll touch something and he's got yeah. to. Why you would do that? Feel yeah. like he's in a world. Yeah. Like I'm going to move to close this table. Sorry, yeah. man. And, and it's yeah. like with the uh, Uncharted Four demo, he walked directly flat. There was a woman with her, her back flat to him, and he put his hands on his shoulders and went, "Excuse me," and he moved her around. And I was like, "I love that. That interaction makes you really? feel yeah. your character not feel like some fucking." 3D sprite bumping into another 3D sprite. It yeah. feels interesting. Clipping, I think that's, that's one thing that is. He stops clipping as well because because he grips him. Something doing right. Grips him. Yeah. Instead of clipping his but yeah. yeah well, that's that's what's missing from yeah. Witcher. I think. I think Witcher should just like put his arm out. If he's running towards yeah. somebody, he should put his arm out and push yeah. him. Well, they made it hard to say it. It's probably going to yeah, fuck that. Which I would have preferred that. Yeah, well, the thing, uh, but, but, still, but like still. I say, uh, the Uncharted comes all the way around on this scale, on this side of the scale, the cinematic gaming, and and Tomb Raider comes from same exactly the same origins, but goes around this way, and he goes, this is gameplay first, this is cinematic value first, and they end up still getting to the end, which is a nice resolution and a really really good story, but I lean more onto the same side that you lean onto, which is the I prefer this gameplay more. Yeah, yeah. So. I'm looking forward to the new one. It does look gorgeous. Oh, sweet. Anyway, we'll have to move on because it's going to be my Next. Oh, Gears of Wild Foul. Before I knew it was going to come out. Yeah. Yeah, well, I'm going, <laughs> I'm going, to, I'm going to do about two minute waffle or a minute waffle and then I'll let you take over. Um, I knew it was coming out. Yeah, we all knew that was coming. And I was asked myself, am I ready for another Gears of War game? And I said to myself, no, not interested. I'm not know. interested. And then I watched the trailer. Yeah. And I was like, okay, here's the trailer, here's the trailer. She's showing a nice little bit of cut, cut scene. Don't send links in my description. Don't send How can we click this link? Don't send links in my description. Put it on the Show Me Games Facebook group. Don't put links in my description. I, I thought I banned this from Twitch. Don't put links in my description. Naughty boy. That's why I don't keep spamming it with my YouTube. Vicky. Thing in the bottom. Flapping. Um, <laughs> so put it in the group. I wasn't really ready for it. Wasn't asked about it. I saw the trailer and it's showing a bit of the trailer. And I'm like, mm, not bothered, not bothered. Uh, oh, where's Marcus? I thought, where's Marcus? Go on, give a bit of fun service. And at the time, he didn't show Marcus. I was a little bit, but giving it a couple of days to just there. I'm glad it didn't show Marcus. Yeah, because you want to save something. And yeah, I'm glad it didn't show Marcus, and and it looked gorgeous. Yeah, and they need to shut the fuck up now until it's coming out. Yeah, and Perfect. now it's over to you to talk about um, it. Or... Right, Gears of War Fall. Uh, I'll go back to Gears of War 3. Mm -hmm. um, by that point, fatigue was a bit setting in, weren't it? Yeah. We were enjoying it, but I enjoyed it because it was co op and it's a solid game. But 
I don't know. I I just it's played shit. it. I can't even fucking remember it. Is it uh, Dom dies in it. Yeah, that's all I remember. And, and I, I was trying, trying to remember when he died, and, and I thought today at work, I thought so it's like that driving was, into someone. No. Was it not? No. I thought he drove it so it blew up. No. No. Ugh. No. No. It was Still just. With me. I, I was thinking at work, and I'm like, oh, and then Dom dies, and I thought. We have you have a stand, the last stand type thing. It's daylight. It's in this kind of like churchyard type thing. Right. And then he ends up dying, and it was like that was really unceremonious. And I remember thinking it feel. I remember us both playing that game, and that happened, and we both felt that fell flat. Yeah. We didn't give a fuck, and then next thing you know, we're playing as Baird and yeah, and Cole and so like, again whatever. As good as the first two, easily, but I think that was the first taste of Assassin's Creed in something or summer. Yeah. Uh, we just we just we just had enough at that point, I think. Um, even though we enjoyed it, but yeah. now my mind's ready, my body's ready. I've got the beta for uh, for Gears of War Ultimate. You'll have to come around. We'll play it out. We'll oh. touch screen now. Do you know, I probably enjoy Gears of War three now. Well, it's been a while. I'd rather go for the first one because we bossed the first one. Because we were awesome as the first one. one. Horde mode. Horde mode. Horde mode. Fucking hell. I remember playing with Twitch Joy. It's Team Tunstall. Yeah, I remember Horde playing. Mode. Me, you, and Adam Clark were all playing it. And that's when Adam Clark turned around and said, well, Do shields. Turn around, put your back to the enemy and put them down because you can't kick them over. Oh, the oh, I wasn't climb over. Tip, tip, put the shields the other way. Yeah. They can't kick them down. Brilliant. And we kick the fuck out. But um, but yeah, Gears of War 1, I, I think you've said many a time to me, I don't know whether we've said on, online. It's like, Great trailer as well. First time you ever saw it. First time you ever saw it. Oh my like, god, what yes. is this game? I need this game. Yes. Yes. Good. Well done. That's how you're Good, good, good. Yeah, no, 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 you're right. Um, you've mentioned before about new console generations. Uh, as, as you said, you wouldn't probably have. An, would you have a next generation console now? Because um, that, that was now, for you. That was bought for you, wasn't it? As a this, present, so yeah, I've got a PS4, a and I tend to hold out until there's something I need to play. So with the 360, was I started seeing Gears. Um, well, we played Gears. I think uh, Chris Tunstall brought his console around, yeah, and we played Gears. I played it co-op. Where it was it? You brought his. Yeah. not here, but yeah, you brought uh, Gears, and I'm like, oh my god, I need to play this. Um, and the, the original Xbox, I bought the original Xbox American, yeah. and we played Halo. Played Halo. And we lost this shit. That's but in black and white, if you remember, because I didn't have an NTS TV. In black and white, I loved that game. Mm. It was cool. Uh, yeah, there is certain games that would have done it. So I'm trying to think what what would have got me over to an Xbox or a PlayStation if I was just. I wouldn't have bought one yet. I wouldn't have one now. Definitely not. I wouldn't. I've got a PS4 now, but I wouldn't have one. Well, the Master Chief Collection would would no. not have swayed you. No, because no. I would have played it at yours. And even if you didn't have it, I still there's a court game to me. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, that's why I don't play it. Yeah, I'll, I'll always play that game with Aaron. Um, even Halo Five, I'll I'll play. It. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm gonna get that. We're probably gonna be quiet for a week. What would have got me? Um, I, I'd struggle now. I'd struggle now because now because Witcher three wouldn't have sold it. You only Witcher got that three wouldn't have console. It. Yeah, Witcher three wouldn't have done it. So um, that would have sold the console to me. But yeah, yeah no, but. I wouldn't have done it for me. Uh, so far, nothing. Uh, I'd watch E three. I'd be mm -hmm. what, I'd have seen all this. Uh, I'd have seen Last Guardian. I'd be like, Ugh. and then I'd also like Last of Us always draws me into it. I'd be like, oh, and I can play Last of Us again, a bit shinier. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I don't know. That's just because I love that game. Yeah, like, I, I do game. understand why um, people. Um, get obsessed with a game they love and then they're sort of redoing it and even if it's a little bit shinier like even uh, Resident Evil um, I think, I, th right. I, think it, I get it I get it I get why people if they really completely love it and it's just a little bit better I get it I, do, I totally get it mm. but it's only one game in a million it's very rarely happened so and I, but I, everybody's got that game no, uh, nothing yet nothing yet I'd see Last Guardian I think I want that I'd see Halo 5 I think I want that um, Gears, I think I want that, but then I think Aaron's got an Xbox, so I'll play that only co op, mm. so I don't need that actually. And, and Halo, um, what else were there with the Sony one? Horizon. Horizon, 
but I still haven't seen the game and it might be an alright game or it might be a brilliant game da -da -da, Uncharted yes. they never sold you any first they never place, sold me in first place yeah. Last of Us is what made me buy it Tomb Raider though you would have actually had a 360 so you would have played Tomb Raider and then Tomb Raider is coming exclusively for 6 months at least yeah Tomb Raider would have, would have definitely started pushing me No Man's Sky no Shenmue no hey yeah, it's There's probably they don't have they don't it doesn't exist anymore. The, the one game doesn't exist anymore. Um not off this list. It doesn't exist. The the closest one is The Last Guardian for me, mm. personally. And there's some fucking brilliant games on here. Uh, it'll be a case of and both consoles have brilliant games. Yeah, both consoles do have brilliant games. So I don't think I don't so. Know. There's no answer. There's no. It used to be one fuck or two killer apps. Brilliant games, that yeah, mm. and they're more a, an evolution or an evolution rather than a revolution nowadays. Yes, yeah. And it's the revolution that gets me. You show me something I have not played before that looks fucking fantastic, and that's 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 what gets me. And mm. I haven't seen it in the courses. Is, Last Guardian, it's not revolutionary, but it does look pretty it sweet. Does look gorgeous. It does look gorgeous. Um, so yeah, I don't really have an answer. So, right. Yeah, I still won't have one. Anyway, <laughs> uh, so next game, so that was Gears 4. Gears 4, excellent. Gears Ultimate. Cool, if you're on uh, PlayStation Preview, uh, Xbox Preview, sorry, uh, which uh, I signed up to initially, you get the beta. Okay. Yeah, and so I've had Preview, which is why I get more updates than most people. Oh, uh, I've been on, so on it's that good and bad. Uh, no, it's, it's, it, it is it is good. I, I, you know, I had Smite Beta, I was playing Smite Beta for a right. while, which is a mob, uh, and I was playing all my, I've, I've played all manner of stuff. See, because again, as much as I may sound, when you when you hear me talking about this and I bang on about this game or that game, I may sound like I'm very fucking narrow-minded with stuff, especially on my Monday mornings. Um, but it's morning. I'm morning, that's the point of it. Uh, I'm a negative guy anyway, by, he is. by, uh, he is by default, person. but I play a wide breadth of games and and so does so does Adam um, which is why we but a different this. wide thing yeah. we play completely different games yeah yeah we, but we're, we, we cross over a few things but anyway so uh, the uh, ultimate Gears Ultimate not much to say about that we get it good I don't mind these things existing I'm I'm, I'm a bit bored of the HC remakes now especially yeah but I don't mind them existing well, well in that I think we should bundle in the uh, backwards compatibility Yes. Okay. Yeah, okay. Well, we, we will bundle in the backwards compatibility. Go. The backwards compatibility. Um, when I first got the console, I wasn't asked. When the first, when these next generation consoles were announced, you didn't give a fuck. Yeah. Did not give a fuck. Right. And I think people who did give a fuck at the time shouldn't have given a fuck at the time. But give time, time proves us wrong um, because. The first year of these consoles was fucking dire, and as much as people say that the first year of a new console is always the weakest year of a new console, yeah, it is the weakest year because it's most exciting though. But it? but you should always get games coming out that year. You, you haven't. You haven't. And this is where I say, well, you could have stick of truth if you, you um, exactly stick of truth was meant to be coming out on Xbox One, yeah. PS4, yeah. and all old consoles. It didn't bother. It didn't. Didn't fucking come out. But at least you could have played it if you originally well, had the backwards. Right. So no, the thing is, is the first year. This is why I'm completely baffled. In the first year, that PlayStation Four sold better because PlayStation Four had no fucking games, no games. Xbox One had minimum games. PlayStation Four had no fucking games, no games. Right. The Xbox One at launch had the best looking next generation games it also had the better games well that's i mean the simple answer to that um is basically everybody saw microsoft being cunts trying to force everybody yeah they did, yeah did, that's what it were well, it, it was basically mm. then they're paying for that now and they will continue to pay for it because it, it's fading away yeah, Phil, Phil Spencer is, 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 is the superman of that Spencer company. is fixing it and it, it, well, it's basically fixed it I um, mean especially this press conference just says he's fixed it he's fixed it but when, um, when they first came out with the, the first conference with the Microsoft and they're like you love us we have sold so many consoles yeah. that's what they were saying how about watching TV on your TV yeah, oh, really, yeah. you can't show your games 
you have to have connects, yeah. you have to do this, yeah. you have to do that, you have to do this. Well, yeah, well, but that is what fucked it up. You, you have to be yeah. online. But you have to be online. Time, and everybody just went, no, fuck off. Mm. No. no. And yeah, that's but part of that. At E3, both turned around and mm-hmm. said, you don't have to be online. But yeah, no, yeah, I agree with you. That's what I it was. That's, 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 that's it. Um, but the Xbox One had the first next generation looking games. PlayStation 4 hasn't had a game as of yet look as good as Forza 6 as a game look as good as Rise even which 3 doesn't look as good as Rise Um, all the I, that's, I, know, yeah, it's, I know it's just a graphical thing not a gameplay standard so I do appreciate that but you buy a next generation console to play games that look fucking better I'll but have the same game I'll tell you something there is no fucking way not cutting house chance I would have got a PS4 if I bought it yeah. if they had improved the controller yeah considerably. so the controller controller is considerable. considerable that is what you're using that uh, ever, um, sorry PlayStation people don't get me wrong I love the PS4 yeah, uh, your controllers games. have consistently been shit since uh, it's existed they are I don't since, know, uh, since PlayStation since PlayStation 1 introduced the dual analog. Shit. It's just a fucking box. It is box. Yeah. Twitch well, door. Just started echoing for no reason about two minutes ago. Uh, it's your stream because I'm listening to it reloaded to see if it went. No. It's you. You've got echo ears. Cold ears. Um, Cold. It's probably because we got louder. Yeah, we got overexcited then. We got all do. If we we say this 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 tone, we got very uh, passionate. It 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 it'll chill. It's probably just this compensated. There's a fire uh, burning. But no. But the thing is, it's like uh, a year ago, a year ago, uh, January last year. Okay, you have to buy a next generation console. Which one would you have bought? Um, I would have got um a PlayStation. You would definitely go PlayStation women. Literally. Definitely. Zero games. No. Uh, Literally zero no. games. I'll tell you why. You know why, really. Is Last of the us. potential of Last of Us. Yeah, okay. That's it. That, See, game, that, that, doesn't, that doesn't sell a console, to me personally, that doesn't sell a console. It sold PlayStation 3 to me. It doesn't sell the next generation. No, I don't mean, I don't mean the um, remastered Last of Us. I the mean, potential. potential I told you, I don't want to play a sequel. Of a sequel. And. I don't want to play a sequel. Not only that, Microsoft pissed me off with all the Wittering, so I wanted to punish them. Ah, fair enough. Um, fair enough. See, and that makes more sense. The controller, you could use it now. You're a you. Shattered. But no, you've got emotion. But uh, yeah, the, the uh, control you can use it. No, it's fair enough, that makes, makes sense. We're still on Sony, uh, Microsoft at the moment. But, uh, Sorry, but no, it's not yeah, more exciting. No, um, but yeah, so I, I, I think if you're looking at a purely game standpoint at launch, nothing has come close to, to the Forza games and Rise graphically. I mean, if we're just being born idle and just going graphics, Nothing to come close to that. And I have a console. Yeah, uh, uh, it's not just that though. It's but like, again, it's, it's what you could potentially end up playing because obviously you've got Firewatch, which was fucking brilliant. Last Guardian, which was gorgeous as fuck. Horizon, which could potentially be an amazing game. And then you have got the potential of Last of Us 2, which I won't play. But I want a game that will shock me as much as Last of Us. I won't play Last of Us 2. Stubbornly, I will not play it's, it. It's not just as simple as that, though, as like, what would you buy then? Because I would have already owned a Wii U and a 3DS. So, I've see, still got games. See, I, I think... You know, if I, I, think, if I, think, I didn't have them, then I would have to buy something, I think. Uh, I think it's, it's, a, matter, I think it's a matter of... Right, um, I've been saying this for fucking ages. Nintendo consoles should not be counted... Should not be counted as a big three. Nintendo should be no, separate. No, 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 you like PC is separate. Yeah, it should be separate because they don't they don't fucking dilly dally and play kids like these two consoles try to do. 
They're not rushing into VR because VR is the way. Now we have a VR competition. Yeah. They don't rush into my online is this and my online is this. They don't rush into I've got gold so you get free games. I've got PS Network, you get free games. They're separate. They're actually an no, old they style they console. They're an old style console, which is which is good, and I think it's brilliant. It's not just that. They, 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 I mean, we'll, they we'll, we'll get onto Nintendo. Yeah, we'll get onto Nintendo. Yeah, we still yeah. haven't even got halfway through Microsoft, but this is where the questions are all buzzing. We'll get into Nintendo in a minute. Yes. But they do play their own game, in a way. So, so even though the Nintendo thing was shit, and everybody thinks it's shit, it's because we're comparing it to Microsoft. Exactly. Sony. That's why I say don't compare them. It's their own fault, because they shouldn't have released the Direct at the same time. You know, they should have just waited a few weeks and then done it. If because Nintendo what they did was, they also did um, they did a Smash Direct yeah. on, I think it was Saturday. Now they could have saved the Riot this thing. Is, this is going to be a very long Microsoft one. This. <laughs> doesn't matter. Yeah. They could have saved the Riot thing mm -hmm. and put it in the Direct. Everyone would have lost the shit. In the, uh, you know, in the uh, E3 yeah. one. But instead they did it pretty free and put it in a smash thing of like, oh you got it. right. They could have said that and gone and it would have been an extra thing. They could have done a time delay all the way through this week, releasing death charges like that, and just demolished E3 and made E3 constantly go from from we've just been to the uh, Microsoft uh, conference, it was really, really good, but there's a buzz about this on Nintendo. Just drop, just drop it at the end of every single conference, go, and we've got this. Sony have just released this press conference, it's really, really good. Nintendo said, join us on Thursday for Star Fox Zero. And it's just, you know, it's just 10 minutes about that. Boom, boom. That's, they could have just done death charges, but they didn't. Instead, they did this direct thing, thing, which was done. Anyway, they, right, next they, game. They do yeah. their acts every few months, so they, yeah. they actually have to shit their own E3 shit. Right, so, um, um, Forza, Forza looks fucking stunning. The, the best, best racing game you're going to get out there, and the best looking yeah. racing game you're going to get. Yeah, uh, nothing much there, but it'll, it'll that's it. Good. And, yeah. it's, it's, and it's going, going to play it. good because it's solid as fuck, I'm going to be five. Squad. Stuff going on there. Yeah, well, I don't think we need to bang on words about that because anybody who knows us, as we just said, we're massive Halo fans. It is going to be a solid game. 343 Industry has proved that they are more than capable of taking the hell off plunging uh, because Reach was fucking ace and 4 was fucking ace. So. Yeah. And they've done brilliant with the Master Chief collection. And Bungie made Destiny, which I don't care about. So I'm actually glad they yeah. uh, Next um, one. <laughs> I don't know if this is, is this IOU or I am? I am. I am. What's not IOU? I don't know much about it, I just wrote it down. I can't remember mentioning much about it. Something to do in space, move on. <laughs> if you know about this game, feel free to uh, have a chat. Uh, oh. Mm, you go for one break and all hell breaks, but you missed it, the screen and shouted, the very caffeine has kicked in. Uh, Plants vs. Zombies, uh, right. uh, which I like Plants vs. Zombies, but I don't uh, I like wrote, Plants I wrote, vs. Zombies. I wrote that for two reasons, I wrote that for two reasons, because that was announced under EA. Yes. Now, the Microsoft, the, the, the Sony conference went from up here, travel, 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 travel Travel, 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 jumps up to an average with Uncharted. Microsoft started off like relatively high, not as high as Sony. We went chug, 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 chug. We hit EA, which is where this came, and it plummeted. It got boring, dull as fuck. Then we had 10 minutes of Plant vs. fucking Zombies 2, which lifted a bit. It's like, ah, Plant vs. Zombies 2. God, I'm warfare. That game's coming out in 2016, and I said while we watched that fucking live, that game is going to be dated when it comes out. It's going to be dated. It's just like, I don't know, people are going to be charged $50 or £50 or whatever it is for that game. Next game. Don't panic because they told us, told us it was funny. Yeah, and it was. Uh, I don't think I laughed. I did see a funny orange. Uh, oh, Twitchy's bitch. Well, hang on a minute. He ludicrous oh my God. about when I come now. Fuck it, what are you doing, man? Whoa! No, this is! <laughs> uh, the ludicrously expensive Batman Arkham Knight Mob uh, Batmobile edition has been cancelled. At least that's the word coming from some of our readers along the post at NeoGaf. After getting an email from their local game retailer explaining that this situation apparently has to do with poor quality of its transformable Batmobile figurine. 
regrettably due to unfortunate circumstances that greatly compromised uh, greatly compromised the quality of the Batmobile included within the Batman Arkham Knight Mobile and Batmobile edition fucking sorry. Uh, Warner Brothers has decided to release not to release this product. Game state to this is an email, you're okay. Um good good and let's, go, let's go go back up. Let's be able to How about you release a game? If it's still selling and people are still playing, because it's online now, everything's online, you can see people are still playing, then release some DLC for those people who are enjoying it, as opposed to selling a game on its DLC. On its DLC. Oh, but yeah, thanks for the input. Yeah, I mean, it was uh, massively long to read, and um, we're getting live news, live news feed. <laughs> Join us! <laughs> okay, so next down the line, we've done, uh, we've done the Rare Collection. Yeah. Have we? No, Actually, we haven't. No, we, we haven't done the Rare Collection. Rare Collection. When it was announced, Six. how cool were I on that? I was like, not interesting. Yeah. I had a look at it. We had a look just before we uh, came on air. Which is why it's good to have a moment, because you get so much information watching E3. It's nice to just sit back for a little bit and just consume it all and absorb it and Think about it, and then actually, your opinions change. Yes, they really do. Uh, and this is an opinion that has changed for me. Yeah, and for myself, myself as well. Uh, this game has been released with 30 rare games on it. Not rare as in you can't get them anymore. Rare as in the production. There might be some rare games. It probably is. Uh, it's 20 pounds in the UK. I don't know how that changes to your variable countries that you live in. The 20 pounds is very fucking reasonable. You get, uh, on, on it, this is just a few, uh, you get Jet Force Gemini, which I think, uh, as I recall, you played that on the N64, and it was, it was, no, GameCube. I can't remember, N64. 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 Uh, I remember it looking quite nice. Again, I don't think I witnessed you finish. I think you might have beasted it one week, but very good game. Uh, going into Mr. Gox. Uh, we should probably shit now. Um, <laughs> Banjo Kazooie, Banjo Tui, Banjo Nuts and Bolts, not a big fan. No. Conquerors by the Fair Day, uh, Killer Instinct Gold, and all the Jet Set Willy um, stuff. For £20. Armored Core. Armored Core. Oh no, Blast Corpse. Blast Corpse. Blast Corpse. Blast Corpse. Um, for £20. Pinyasa. And Vegan Pinyasa. For £20, it's good enough. Just for five of those alone, so and more. that's actually really, really, really reasonable, and this has changed my opinion on that. There is more than that. I was two hour really cold when you went an hour releases. I don't know before. Yeah, twenty. Now what occurred? Twenty. There is a lot of games. Even if you don't play some of them, yeah. just check each one of them out. Oh, Definitely. That that was, that's really good. I'd do it just for Conquer. Yeah, it's cool. Well, no, because I, I let it. I'll put it a little bit. I'll play a bit. Um, but yeah, mm. it's a good game. Okay. Okay, uh, so, uh, oh, oh, Aaron, yeah. whole lens, me, Oculus, Aaron, Oculus, me, we're on two sides, yeah, it's the same coin, but I like the look of both, but we both like both things, I think I swayed you on Oculus, didn't I? He swayed me on Oculus, I'm convinced, I swayed him on whole lens, you definitely have swayed me on whole lens. Uh, I'm a whole lens person. I'm an Oculus. That's for me. I'm VR. That's my world. I, I like VR. He's VR, but we both like the other things. Fucking too it. right. Too right. But it's so good. The Minecraft oh, thing. Yeah. I mean, talk about a game I don't give a fuck about. Minecraft. <laughs> he made it so interesting. <laughs> he made it fucking brilliant. I want to play. I want to play it now. I want you with. In fact, I, yeah, I want you with either either a uh, whole lens or just normal, and I have a whole lens or vice versa. And that sounds good because right. I will be the Hololens guy. You'll be the Hololens. That I, he could be in Oculus. I'm, I'm assuming it's possible. It might not be. So he's walking around. Yeah, well, he could possibly be. Possibly, yes, yeah, possibly, possibly, possibly possible. He I could be my VR in it up to fuck, and he could be God in yeah. my world. Oh, no. No, I'm playing Halo now because we're Microsoft in it, aren't we? Yeah. Playing Halo, and then running around, it's kicking ass. Ba, 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 ba. It's two bubble gum. Ba. I'm hollow lens in it. I put him on my table. I can see him. I can see him running around, kicking ass, chewing bubblegum. I'm the dungeon master. Or the hell master. I'm drinking. 
into his world, world, which I'm watching. I'm watching a lot of fucking run around on my table. While I'm watching Coronation Street, I'm throwing ships in there. I'm throwing grunts. I'm throwing elites. I'm creating a world that he's fighting in. That's all. Right. Six game that we are kickstarting. And he's also playing um, Rock Band. Yeah. Halo 2. Exclusive. It was actually. Is it? It was on, on uh, Guitar Hero. I had it. You can, it was a download too. Oh, right. I played it. I was great at it. But I could also play it on the guitar as well. I, I actually learned how to play it. Yeah, it was one of the few that I did. Uh, but yeah, that sounds amazing. That's why I had to do the Halo tune. Sometimes our imagination goes a little bit wild and then it doesn't happen and we get upset. Yeah, we do. But that's why we buy things because of what we expect as no, opposed to what we get. No, see, see, this, 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 the, I think, I think Microsoft didn't make enough of a deal about it. I like how they just like, yeah, and we have Oculus, and we have Hololens. They made more of a deal than Morpheus. Yeah. <laughs> you fucking like talking for more than 30 seconds. <laughs> yeah. But it, it's fucking cool. It is. It is fucking cool. It's fucking cool. The fact that you can have both of those things involved. Oh. Anyway, next, 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 next. Okay, our final one oh, before we uh, wrap up. Uh, but we're not wrapping up on Twitch, remember? No. You keep watching. We'll go to Nintendo after this. We're <laughs> Nintendo it up, which, which is probably about five, five minutes. Minute <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love Nintendo. Yeah. I was in Not today. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, this is the um, the new Xbox controller, which I Elite. thought or is actually the the where they got rid of the um, the port for the headphones. Headphone, headphones. Headphones. Yeah, so I thought they were going to show that. But why are you making a big deal about like this? This is nothing. Plus, I already know. And then boom. Boom, dropped the bomb. They dropped the fucking air bomb. Right, look at this. This is a bomb. This is elite. <laughs> it's it, got some steam controller shit going it on. It does look comparable. It's we've got, got some we've adjustable, got adjustable the actual discs, but it is very... It's got some adjustable analog things, so I think this is for under triggers. It's for the PC guys. It's, yeah, I think it's, it's for... It's a cross. It's, it's a cross. crossover, because you, it's, it's fully programmable. You've got... Two flaps under each, mm. under each handle, which are going to be programmable. You've got sliders for the sensitivity of your animals. Okay. You've, you've got uh, sliders for the sensitivity of your triggers. So if you want to just do hot pulls to shoot, um, you can do. Bah, 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 bah. So they got GameCube right, so, on that. So we've got we've got all these micro switches that are going on, um, and the more I think about what you can actually adjust on it and how customizable it is. The price seems a little bit more reasonable. Still, ah. too expensive. Evan, what's my name? Don't wear it out. What is the price? The price in the UK is one hundred. No, no, the price in the US is one hundred and fifty dollars. UK price? We don't have a UK price. It's one hundred and fifty dollars. It will so only be one hundred and fifty pounds. One hundred and fifty quid. Because that's how the states work. The no. states. The states don't. Don't change the cost of something, they just basically change that symbol in front. They go, that's a dollar, five hundred dollars for this console. What shall we sell it in the UK? Well if we script that S with lines through and put a, a pound sign in there, we'll sell it at that. And so it's like it doesn't work. 130 quid, thank you very much for which door. It's 130 quid. Don't want it. Um I did want it. It it's more expensive than I expect than it should be, but I do with understanding how customizable it is and understanding how much is actually gone into that joypad, I do expect to pay a premium for it. Don't get me wrong, right? Well, a premium well, for, for me is £50, pounds, but unfortunately that's the price of the controller now. Uh, I just saw on Reddit someone posted the control parts will come in the game variety, so it's like a Gears of War theme button D pad. Oh, Alright, okay. Buy accessories. So you can buy accessories and you can oh, even super mod it. That's really, really cool. So I, still think, I still think that you, like I said, I'm, I'm happy paying a massive premium for it, but not half the price of my console. 
Oh, Especially when you can pick up a, an Xbox One in this country now for like 270 quid, 280 quid. You're actually paying half the price for your console I'm, and I joy by I get pissed and that's, off. that's wrong. That's just... I get pissed off with the amount that I have to pay for a normal controller. Yeah. I think it's too much. Well, now it's, now it's 50 quid. It's the same price as a game. Yeah. And it's like... Um, it's no, it never used to be that much. It used to be £20. I understand that there's more technology going in it now, but also the technology that's going into it now is considerably cheaper than it was when you first released this console, otherwise you'd be... I know I know that they don't... Uh, at launch, both PlayStation 4 and Xbox One are probably still... Well, they're losing money in hopes of break even. Yeah, or, or losing money, but it's profit. you wouldn't be losing that much money that you have to charge £50 per joypad. Mm. That's just fucking stupid. If you are at that state, you ruin... Stop! Putting links in the fucking comments. You upset him. You Stop it. it. I do it deliberately. I'm going to change it so you can't put fucking links there. Don't put links in the fucking comments. We have a sh we have a fucking show me games group on Facebook. Put them in there. Everybody's watching this right now. Is on the show me games group. Stop putting fucking links in the fucking comments. Is that not there? You upset him. So the, the uh, console, <laughs> it, it, yeah, I appreciate that. So yeah. that, that was Microsoft. Um, join us back in, in five minutes' time, yeah. and we will do Nintendo. So um, if you're watching on Twitch, cool. keep watching. I'm if you're watching on YouTube, go to the next video.